Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. So a lot of time I get this question from uh, the members that why do they put SCCM in the description for this entry level job? Isn't that an advanced tool? So remember SCCM is an advanced tool, definitely. You will not be uh, implementing SCCM in the company. You will not be installing the servers because it does require SQL knowledge. It does require Windows Server knowledge, but you need to understand what it is so basically a lot of time in the company they would have already implemented meaning a system administrator would have already installed the ccm and everything so on your machine basically they're going to give you like a, a management tool so you install it and through that management tool a system administrator can say that okay the help desk can only use a, a component of that whole uh, you know, um, I'm making it very easy for you guys to understand. So when you install that management tool, then an admin can say, oh, this technician can only use remote component of this whole program. It has a lot of things. It has deployments, it can do operating system deployments, a lot of things, it can do it for you. But then depending on your job level, meaning you're gonna go to some company that are gonna be very techy, and then they'll show you that their process. And some companies may be just using the remote tool, that's it. So the companies, and some of one of the companies that I remember, I basically put a CCM for them and then give access to the sysadmin. Sysadmin then give access to more of the technicians. So technicians will have their own PCs. They have Active Directory access. Just like Active Directory access, you, you're going to be using administrative tools to connect to domain controller. They don't let you get into domain controller, but you can connect it just like that. You have SCCM somewhere in your company. And then through that management tool, you can connect to SCCM and from that tool you can use it to uh, remote into other machines now the reason we use this SCCM and people we usually ask for this if they implement SCCM then it's very likely that they want to know about it why because they know that that's the tool that you're going to be using into remote into other users machine when we say remote in that's when they're having issue hey I'm having this issue so you can see their screen they will they'll have a little green bar on the top and then say hey uh, you know this technician is logged into your machine so then you can talk to each other not RDP not kicking them out or something like that so b basically you're kind of seeing their screen so that's why it's very important tool for a lot of people and people get confused that hey that's an advanced tool it's, uh, when I go to online it's all about server SQL server I don't know about that stuff yet but there there's a specific uh, feature that you have to use so in practice lab premium lab I have shown that and I'll, I'll put a video in my description that you can actually use that lab to tell people so how are you going to tell that in the interview when you don't have the skills to deploy this whole thing you're going to basically say that in practice lab I have used SCCM and specifically I have used software deployments and remote tools specifically that because when they hear that they already know okay now you you know about it at least they don't want to know that can you deploy SCCM can you fix SCCM no they just want to know have you used it because that's what they want to know that uh, this person know about remoting into other machines if you don't have SCCM then can then turn your interview into something a little bit more relating so maybe you can say another tool if you find online there's a lot of other tools like uh, manage engine have desktop central which I have done a lot of videos on there are different type of VNC type of tools look into online see what what other tools are available for remoting in and helping other users so then you can say I don't have a CCM experience I did it in the lab but it is another tool that I used for uh, you know managing a lot of MSPs use different type of softwares like Komodo, Iterian there's so many different type of softwares and then they will have clients and basically with one click you can see and in my recent videos there's a playlist it says remote troubleshooting skills so if you look at that playlist in that we talked about Zuho assist and that's exactly what it is there's a client there's a management and you get into those machines and help them so you can use all of these three or four type of softwares to to cover the SCCM part and that's where then you're not gonna be uh, you know thinking oh I, you did bad in the interview or you just say straight up no rather than saying no in the interview you can at least come back with alternatives or just do the labs and talk about SCCM. That's how you deal with this question. Thank you so much.